Of course, I'll see that you're rewarded. Almost like the sounds of that. Sick? No. Wounded. Deep wounds. Ripped open as if by sharp claws. We found him near the road. It looked like he had crawled there. Claw wounds. And no healing could help him? That's right. The wounds were oozing. It's a wonder he was still alive. Why send word? Because this man was a corporal on the Copperin Watch. You want us to take word of his death to Copperin? Yes. Take this note and his personal effects to Sergeant Nikonen. Have him countersign the note, then see my agent. He is the owner of the general's store. Okay. Meanwhile, get some rest and share our camp. We can even sell you some equipment. Many yes, please. For your hospitality. Let's see what you got, mate. Hmm. Anything of interest? It's the one. I want to try something with Ken. Oh, with the, what's his face? Sell that, sell that. I don't need all this food. We have way too much. Sell the dagger. Balax. Um. Yeah, we'll sell the axe of acuteness. Sell that. Sell that. I was hoping they would sell for more, but they're apparently not, so maybe you sell them somewhere else. Sell the scimitar, sell the bolts. Sell that short bow. Don't sell your long bow. Sell that, sell the darts, don't use them. What is weighing you down? Maybe it's because there's the lack of strength. I probably should try and get some gloves or something that increases strength. You sell this, please, my dear. Oh, I forgot. Can't change page while doing that. Oh, those rations. They were wearing it, weighing down quite a bit. No, don't sell the Revivify. I don't need projectile parts considering the fact that Ken has an, an ability just to spawn arrows with that thing of his. Sell those? There we go. And these have no value. Don't you know I'm still standing better than ever did? Not all this nonsense. I want to keep him down the lights area as well. Boom.
Living legend. Okay. That's pretty nice. Minus we have thirty percent off. I buy that thing for Seraph. I did, it automatically applied. Uh, can I buy a shield from you, sir? No shields? No flimsy little shields, really? Yeah. To perform somatic spell some components. So you can only do some stuff. It's really unfortunate because I wish. I don't know why he can't use a shield. Right, there's a chest over here. Since we're about to rest, Aaron, please say you can use- Fuck. I mean, I can rest and then uh, do my thing. I want that chest, though. Yep. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't even need to use this big rest. I can just do a short rest. Get up. And arcane recovery. Good, I just needed the one dot. Aaron can now let him use fly. I think I've seen and I mean everything when I see a dwarf fly. Oops. Uh, he's stuck. <sighs> I knew that would happen, said Dougal. This is before or after I sold. After. Cool. Ah, oh, that was really not worth it considering what was in here. Do I want to craft anything? Hmm. Might bring a sword sword. Wouldn't be bad, actually, for him to have Ken. No, he's got the rapier, though. Yeah, we'll hold on to that. I'm hoping to get, like, a Lightbringer mace. Let's hit the road. Hit the road. Check. 
Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come. Hey, Steak, how you doing, mate? Cat Jam, I love that emote. Mm -mm, finally, we're at Copperan. This is our second town, actually. Apart from uh, the other place I can never pronounce, because it's got one of those weird elven names. I like this. Those arches there, kind of... Um, Viking boathouse, longhouse sort of dis design. Hmm. A really cool looking city. Yeah, blah blah. <laughs> yeah, basically. How you doing, mate? Why, well, hello there. Friend? Friendly dwarfs? Not too bad. Well, that's. Oh. Do you seek entrance to our fair valley? What is that yes, voice? Hold! Then go see Sergeant Nikonin in the guardhouse. Thank you. Clear skies. Stay in the light. He's a fake dwarf. His beard's not on properly. Good day. I'm Sergeant Nikonin, officer of the day. What business brings you to Copperan? Well, Sarge, we found something of yours on the way here. Of mine? What exactly? Here they are, Sarge. The ring, the badge, the insignia. The man who wore those was of middling height. Broad shoulders, dark hair, and a broken nose. Am I right? Correct. You knew him then. He broke his nose after an exchange of views behind the barracks. Raoul tried to headbutt his basic training instructor. That was me. Oh. Now tell me, what happened to my good friend Raoul? First. Please accept our sincere. I had to remake my whole party. Oh, that would be annoying. Yeah, I can understand that. Hopefully, you weren't too far in. Two days ago, he was at a small camp in some Manakan ruins. He was found almost dead by the caravan people. They tried to heal him, and then some travelers in the caravan rushed in to kill your friend and the guards Master Galar had posted. And no idea who those guys were? No, Sarge. They looked like common Sarge. To me. <laughs> Did Roald say anything to you? It was too late for him. Oh yeah, he was quite dead by the time we got there. Listen, go and speak to the Synod. Tell him everything. Uh, who's the Synod? The Synod? The Synod is the ruler of the Vale of Caparan. And where is the Synod? You can find him at the town hall at this hour. Give him this note from me and tell him exactly what happened. Here, my How are you liking this game otherwise, mate? Gun. Take it to Master Warmheart at the general store. And here's a note for the Synod. Stay in the light. It's nice, dark, and full of terrors. Is this Baron really a dwarf? Charming little town. Are there dwarfs? I can't call a dwarf, my lord. Can I? Are you talking shit about dwarves? I swear to God, lady. I don't like you Sounds already. Wrong. It's pretty cool, a bit harder than- yeah, it definitely is a harder of the game. Uh, I, but I've actually- I was playing an explorer, now I've upped the difficulty to, um... Uh... Authentic mode, instead of explorer mode. I felt like it was, it was a little bit too easy. Who are you, mate? Well, mate. What oh, this is the general store guy. I have a letter for you. Clear skies to you. Master Golden Tongue sent this letter. I love CRPGs, though. Of course, of course. Hmm. Yes. Master Golden Tongue's instructions are quite clear. Here's your money, and here's a receipt to sign. Would you be Fair. interested in sampling our wares? What do you sell? Yeah, I want to see what you got. You got anything decent? No, you got nothing but crap. You're a disappointment to your entire lineage. I hope you know this. Yeah. Good day, sir. Say good day. Ooh. Where's this go? Keep out, strangers. That sounds like a dwarf right there. Mighty dwarf. 
I said good day, sir. Exactly. Who are you? Nobody of import. You don't even get to have a name. Wow. That just shows how low your status is, isn't, doesn't it? Alright, there's the, the, the Cyanard. Clear skies. Joris Nikonen says you have an interesting story to tell. Clear skies to you, my lord. I love Sarah's armor. We came upon this caravan. Go on. Hmm. Military matters I usually leave in the more than competent hands of the Baron. But Nikonen sent you to me. You see, he is a rarity in the Stone Fist Mercenary Company. The okay. one old hand who was born here. We have known each other almost all our lives. He is the reason Stonefist came to our aid during the Orc invasion. And he sent you to me? That's odd. Why did you come to Koparan? Yeah, Orc invasion? An Orc invasion. Happened about 15 years ago. Okay. Several tribes got together, whipped to a frenzy by a shaman. They hit us hard. And oh. opened a breach. Was Axe play in the outer works, and were about to hit the town. Then Gromnir hit them from behind, and they were between hammer and anvil. Hmm. The Stonefist Mercenary Company? Our military force, since they helped us repel the orc invasion. Who's okay. Stonefist? Gromnir Stonefist, founder of the Stonefist Mercenary Company. That doesn't answer my question. Our current mission is to escort Lady Cathayla. Copran was the seat of her family before the Cataclysm. And uh, Lady Cathayla is on a nostalgia trip? Far from it. One of her ancestors left family heirlooms hidden in the fortress. Among those heirlooms, we hope to find clues about the next stage of our quest. Yeah. Old Elven nobility. I am sure I have never seen you before, Lady Cathayla. So tell me something about Copperan that a newcomer or even a casual visitor can't know. In a side valley, there is an imperial mausoleum of Lanarak, home of the honored dead. Lanarak? Yeah. What's Lanarak? A very particular kind of marble. Very precious. The traditional stone for the honored dead. A place of remembrance. Yes, for the honored dead who fell in battle for the Empire. There is indeed an ancient Imperial mausoleum in a side valley, sealed off since the fall of Manakalan. Not many know of it. Thank you, my lady. I am convinced. As for the rest of you, Man, that was you kind of easy. sent by the Legacy Council? We see a lot of Council agents on their way to the Badlands, and they bring a lot of rumors. So tell me, is there any truth to the rumor that the Sorex are back? Yup. Yes, and they are as nasty as legends made them. Can they truly possess others? Not possess, exactly. What they do is worse, if you believe the tales that the paladins of Einar recovered from their archives. Do me a favor. Walk around our city, talk to the people. Then report your impressions to Sergeant Nikonen. Not a word about what you told me, though. Oh, insight roll, let's go! Do you believe the Sorax are in Copperan? I'll say no more for the time being. I hope Walk not. Walk the streets, then see Nikonen. Meanwhile, stay in the light. Clear skies to you, Sinard. What makes them think that the... Yeah, the locals will talk to us, though. This town is really dirty. Who's my investigation person? Like, who, who's best at that? Insight plus three. Insight plus six. So it's going to be Seraph, probably. Plus five. Not bad. No, you also got investigation. Though I think, if I remember correctly, investigation is actually not used in the main story. So it's really the insight role that we're after. We come with wisdom. So if we use a guidance check on him, we might be able to get some more. Yeah, might get some more stuff. We'll see. Hello 
there, citizen. It's rather silly, really. This young man. He asked me for a specific design so he could propose. So he probably gambled the money away. Not him. Straight arrow. On the fast track to Sergeant Orion. I asked around. So, where is this paragon of yours? Consigned to guard duty. A whole week. And that just on his return from patrol. Okay. That's the third clue. Hey up, mate. Well, mate, what can we do? Morning, it's definitely nighttime. The Senard sent us to talk to you. Anything unusual in the last days? You're right, Cat. Well, the Baron came back with a bunch of prisoners. Highwaymen, apparently. I'm wondering why they didn't hang them on the spot. Hanging, eh? Would that be the normal practice? Yes. You don't need that many prisoners to make them talk, if you ask me. Okay. We should go. Pleasure doing business with you. Stay in the light. I mean, yep. With the gallows right there, it definitely does seem like hanging is the norm around here. Oh, is it in here? Oh, the way's, way's over here, okay. Speak to the fair maid. Sergeant, when can I see my Eric? He is due some liberty. Lass, I already told you. He's assigned to guard duty. A whole week of it? That after two weeks on patrol? No. He just doesn't want to see me anymore. Now, lass, don't you fret. It's not that at all. The old man has his old patrol on guard duty in the basement ever since they came back. Something's up. Whatever it is, it can't be. Wait, what? They're all on patrol in the basement. Yeah, something definitely sounds off. Mr. Smildred, the brewer wants to know when to bring the next delivery of ale. He doesn't want it to go stale. He has his reputation to consider. If only the stone fist had let his thirsty patrol out on leave as usual. But now... We've only got the regulars, and the ale's not moving too fast. Take him two empty barrels and get two new. It's the best we can do right now. Okay. Could possibly sound so from what we got told though, Sorax impersonations oh scavenger's headquarters are difficult because it takes them a long time to prepare, so I doubt if they would have a full force. Are you the local boss of the scavengers? Yeah, you could say that. Not bossing much, I'm afraid. Man, we used see to have adventurers raiding around here, but now just one. One? Yeah. She's around somewhere. You might run into her. We found an old Timurian monastery south of here. Yeah? Tell me where. We'll take care of it. Man. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it could be that those guys are in the basement are actually dead. And the high women that got brought in are actually here to help take over the place. Ha, huh, the centered's off in mad. 
Why is that? The whole week he's been waiting, and still no meeting with the Baron. Well, that's weird. Usually they meet every day, at least. Like an old couple, the two of them. Hmm. Find Sergeant Nickel, and he's back here. Well met again. So, you've had a chance to walk around the city and hear what people are saying? So, what do you think? Yeah. The story with the highwaymen is also weird. Why keep them prisoners, huh? Exactly. Normally, the penalty is clear and swift. On the frontier, you don't feed idle people. Particularly, not scum like the highwaymen. At best, you put them to work. At worst, they become fertilizer. True. Something is wrong. Soldiers back from a patrol denied leave? Posted to guard duty instead of visiting the tavern? There are two things I didn't mention in our last conversation. Things about Roald and the Baron. And those were? <clears throat> what about Roald? When you told me of Roald's death and returned his personal effects, I was speechless. Not out of grief, but because not a week before, Roald had come back from patrol. You mean oh. one of them is not who he seems? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they are been turned into what's it called, uh, Sorax. What about the Baron? I've known him for 20 years. I was a founding member of the company. Now, for the first time in 10 years, I am officer of the day posted here. And that's not all. For the last 10 years, he's always called me Joris. Now, all of a sudden, it's back to Nikonen. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Suggestions, Serge? The Senard mentioned your mission. He and I go back a long way. So, go to see the Baron and tell him your heirloom story. I know what his normal reaction would be. So come back and we can compare notes. And if I were you, I wouldn't mention Roald, the caravan, or anything else. Okay. Clear skies to you. Where is this blow cat then? The mine. Cast on yourself. Access to the canyon is blocked for the moment. That's the canyon. Where the hell's the Baron? Oh, now that door's open. Alrighty then. I want this so we can get some any insight on whatever conversations coming up. Hey up, mate. Greetings, adventurers. Sergeant Nikonen says you want to see me on the Oh, some that beard matter? though. Yes. It concerns oh, our fuck. traveling uh, companion. Lady. Disable that for a second. Then let her speak for herself. My lord, before the cataclysm, this valley was in the care of my family. Alas, only a few of us managed to survive, and none at all in the valley. A sad tale, my lady, but not uncommon. Those were dire times. 
My father passed away recently. Upon his deathbed, he mentioned some family heirlooms left in a hidden room somewhere in the fortress. With your leave, my lord, I would like to search for this hidden room and retrieve my family's belongings. Out of the question. This is my castle, and all in it belongs to me. Now be gone. That beard. That as a guest, you are protected by our customs. Otherwise,